Okay, so with your two folded blankets. I'm just going to emphasize that these blankets are relatively narrow. So how it got folded, it's like this. And these two blankets, if you stack them one on top of the other, make them kind of firm like that. And I'm going to ask you to start by placing your abdomen on the blankets here. So that when you lie down, you can make a pillow of the hands and turn your head to one side. Okay, let's just check that you know where that's going to be. You have the freedom for your feet, your elbows, your hands, and your head. Okay, so that's going to be one of our positions. Wherever you've placed your blankets to be ready for that. Now please come up to table pose. And then place yourself in the front of the blanket right here. Make your hands like a pillow and turn your head to your right. And let your eyes close. And bring your awareness down into the lower region of the pelvis and your sacrum. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and to imagine the breath as if it were a wave in the ocean, a wave where the sacrum, as if it were driftwood, gently rises on the inhale and then the sacrum on the exhale just gently descends. As you're breathing in, in this way, let's do about five deliberate breath cycles to transition the brain and your mind and your body. I'm going to ask you to inhale gently but completely. And at the top of the inhale, momentarily hold your breath. And then exhale and slowly release the exhale. And let that be a quite complete release. And again, inhale gently but consistently until it feels like a complete inhalation. Hold the breath at the top of that inhale. And then exhale and slowly, quietly release. And do that twice more. So inhale completely. And exhale completely. And do that one more time with a slight hold of the inhale at the top. And then with your eyes closed, let your breath become soft, almost imperceptible. In the movement of the breath, start to watch it in what we call in yoga, the unaltered breath. You are not making it happen. It is breathing you.
It's possible that the breath will be profoundly shallow. You might notice the inner belly and pelvis like a quiet ocean. You may keep your mind down in the pelvis and the low belly and try to sense is this gentle ocean rhythm. The breath need not be large. And moment to moment as you rest your visual mind on the idea of ocean in the belly. Allow the waves of the mind also to become deeply quiet, sensing the larger ocean to which each of us belongs. And try to be deliberate in sensing that, that you are like a wave remembering its ocean self. And this ocean is particularly tranquil right now. Please turn your head to the left, to the other side. And as you continue to imagine the ocean as that to which you already belong, each of us like a little wave remembering this, Let's also imagine the thoughts that tend to stir you into the wave part of your life. That those thoughts can melt away for now. The ocean accepts the wave as it returns and there's no particular entrance fee. The wave is welcomed back home. So releasing waves of fear or apprehension, the mental habits of planning, ruminating. The mental habits of the thoughts that cause separation or isolation. Releasing thoughts of comparison or envy. And 
And try to have a sense as you gaze in at the belly that moment to moment, the wave returns to the ocean. And you can center your forehead, place your hands beneath your shoulders. Press up to table pose. And come to the, the side of the blanket that we tested earlier. You have this position already prepared. And you lay the belly button at the top of the blankets here. When you come down, turn your head to your right. And then allowing for a deep breath again, like we did earlier, where it's purposely a larger inhale, where the low belly does expand and the back waist and the side waist do as well. At the top of such an inhale, hold the breath just for a few moments. And then allow for a slow and steady exhalation. And please do that five times. You want the floating ribs to be just beyond the blanket so that during the exhale, the blanket gently massages up under your floating ribs. And please do that one more time. Like a big wave for the inhale, hold the inhale momentarily, and then a long, smooth exhale. And then please turn your head to your left. Bend your left knee slightly out to the side and roll to your right low belly gently. You don't have to roll that far. Just a very slight tip to the right. And a deep breath like you're filling up the wave part of the ocean. And then exhale a slow, steady release all the way to the end of the exhalation. Do that again, please. Inhale, like a slow but complete wave of inhale. Hold the breath at the top. And then exhale slow and smooth and steady. One more time. Bring your left knee into center, turn your head to your right. Take your right knee gently out to the right so you'll roll a little bit more onto your left belly. And breathing in to the left low belly. Again, like a wave filling itself up, but for the purpose of then releasing back to the ocean. And twice more.
And one more time. And bring your right leg back down. Please come up to your elbows and your forearms for a moment. Take a breath in the center of the belly. Let that expand across the back waist. And then also allow that to exhale. Place your hands beneath your shoulders. Press up to table pose. And then we're going to use the chair and I'll show you how to do this part. So you have your two blankets. You're going to be sitting on the blankets and lying on them completely. That's also why they're a longer fold. This goes here. And when you lie down, you don't want to fall off of your blankets, so please lie down carefully on your blankets. Watch out for hair clips. So when you lie down, my hope is that you'll be able to put the soles of the feet together on the front edge of your chair and the arms go out with the palms face down. We are hoping to release the low belly it's possible that while your feet are up here, they're gonna just slide apart an inch or so, but they should not keep going. Gravity has only so much to say about your hips here. So what you can do then is once you get yourself settled here, let the shoulders release back towards the floor and bring your mind down into the low belly between the two hip bones and above the pubic bone. And without making any effort on the breath, try simply gazing at the unaltered breath. The breath simply as it is breathing you. Imagine the pelvis like a tranquil ocean. Maybe a place out on the ocean where the waves are almost imperceptible. The water becomes really still. As you imagine the deep ocean of the belly, release the mental waves of planning, reviewing, release the mental habit of separateness. Release the mental habit of envy or comparison. Let all mental habits fade and the ocean becomes clear.
We'll release the habit of judgment, the mental habit of greed, the mental habit of wanting, the mental habit of not wanting. As the waves of the mind settle, allow the hips and the pelvis to become even more relaxed. Welcome the possibility of deep quiet between and beneath the waves of thought or mental habit. Allow the ocean of the pelvis to get even more tranquil. The mental habits dissolving. The larger ocean of grace, belonging, wisdom, love, reaching up with your hands and also using a low belly and we glide your knees towards each other you can reach up to place your knees and feet on the chair i tipped my chair to support my knees And then using awareness of the low belly, bring your knees in towards your chest, 
you are on two blankets, so roll down thoughtfully and use both hands to come back up to sit. And I'm going to recommend that you try sitting in Baddha Konasana. Like this. And see if that can be a tiny bit comfortable. When you come up, notice the quality of the mind. So if the ocean and the pelvis were clear and tranquil. If the mental habits were not so restless. Now what is the inner sense and the quality of your mind? And bring your hands together at your heart. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.